So this is pretty basic. I'm gonna make a mag pouch. I got my stuff marked. I pre-cut it. It's over there. Um, there's some nylon. There's a there's some videos floating around that tell you how to make these. So I'm not really getting into that. Um, I do have a green bobbin in here. I think I'm gonna switch to tan, which uh, you can see waiting over there. That's that weird thing that Papa's gave me. I still, I don't know what it is, but I like it. So I kind of hung it as a good luck charm. Eventually I'm gonna um, make some bobbins here in tan, but this part, uh, you won't really be able to see it. So I don't know how much thread is still in the green bobbin that I got. So I'm just gonna blow it out. Um, just gonna blow it out and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully I run out as I'm doing this one and then I'll I'll run tan through it and we'll get started but anyway a couple of you guys asked about uh, what exactly I'm doing with this thing and uh, I figured it'd be best just to show you okay well got this sewed didn't run out of didn't run out of bobbin so uh, these are practice ones and I made enough to do six of these. So I'm just going to keep going with the green until it runs out because you know what? YOLO. I'm going to fold this inside out, which would make it right side out. And then, uh, then I'll do the flap. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the flap, but this is the back piece. Um, before somebody says they don't like this camo, um, nobody likes this ACU camo. But I got it on clearance for $5.50 for a yard of a thousand denier. So that was the cheapest practice material I could find, and that's what it's going to be. Um, this I want to make for a 40 rounder. And uh, I mean, that's, that's about what we're looking at here. I notice people aren't really making pouches for these, so if nobody else is making them, why don't I make them, right? All right, this is the flap. Check this out. Look, mistakes are already being made. See, this is why we practice. Uh, I've only made a few of these, so this is probably going to look like shit, but you know what? I'm going to do it, and I'm going to film it anyway. Because, I, I mean, shit, I just started. Anybody can do this. Well, I mean, almost anybody, I guess. But it's it's not as difficult as I really thought it was going to be. Aha, uh -huh, look at this. My bobbin ran out. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Wait, did it not run out? It had to have ran out. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is... Uh, Shit, I don't know what's going on here. Hang on. Whoa, I was blocking that. My bad. Is this annoying? Well, yes. Yes, it is annoying. It absolutely is. Am I pissed off? Yes. Yes, I am. Do I want to strangle somebody? Why, yes. Yes, I can feel the rage growing inside of me. I want to fucking strangle somebody. So I'm going to cut all this out, and uh, then we're going to switch to tan, which this is going to be visible, so it really was good news. I shouldn't be so pissed off. Okay, so I got this high-speed gizmo here, and this thread is running through a guide rod, through a power super turbo disc. It runs in, catches onto the bobbin on the Mad Max afterburner turbocharge and I just hit this thing and it threads my bobbin for me. I'm going to make a couple of these. There we go. It kicks off when it's done. I pull this guy off, if I can do it holding the camera, because it's on a little tight. Uh, there we go. That's one. I'm going to do uh, a couple of these. 
just to have them. Also, uh, for organization, I don't know if this was made for this, but it's like perfect for it. Inside of uh, this table in the drawer, this little, uh, I don't know, little compartment. I can drop those guys in there kind of organized with the threads facing up. And uh, I don't know, it's working for me, so I'm using it. Whatever. Okay, so this is pretty annoying to do. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. See? I didn't want it to unravel. And it did. That's pretty much your fault. That's not my fault. I would never... I would never do that wrong. I would never do that wrong. Alright. There's a little lever here. Pull this guy out. Here's our empty bobbin. Uh... Throw this down here with the other ones I made. Uh, got an empty one. Got this one. I'll put this one back in. Then I'll change this thread here. It's not making the thing. It's all the other bullshit you end up doing that really takes the time here, you know? So when I changed that thread, uh, the tension went wrong, and I don't really know what I'm doing. And I fought with this thing forever. That just goes to show you, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But, here's what we got so far. This is what you missed. Uh, got the molly sewed on. Put a tag in. Part of the Velcro. And, got some loops. Got the straps. This is probably starting to look like something to somebody that knows what they're looking at here. Uh, the one thing we're missing here is, you know, the front, because we'll stick this thing in like so, and this will Velcro down. Should be able to get two of them, actually, so it'll have a little bit of lead on it, about like so. Sometimes I put pull tabs on these. I didn't on this one, because I've already made a couple mistakes already, and, uh... Made a couple mistakes, and this is the first time doing this size, and I've adapted it off of a smaller design, so my math may be wrong. So I'm not really doing a lot of extra crap on this one. I'm just trying to get this one done, just to see what, uh, see how it plays out. Okay, well, we're pretty much done here. Uh, got the molly kind of looped up there just so it's out of the way um, nothing special I kind of turn the edges in I normally cut those but uh, I, like I said I'm not doing anything super fancy on this uh, this size difference uh, between the uh, the 40 and the 30 this by the way is a I mean roughly in the family of what an AK mag is like um, so, uh, hold on. sorry, sorry about that. You know, this, uh, the whole 2P mags. <clears throat> this is the kind of crap I've been playing with. There's another one I made, uh, kind of experimenting with some shears, pouches, and stuff like that, you know. Um, yeah. Another one, this one's kind of basic. Just a regular old, but... That's been my latest headache, kind of expanding into some different stuff, but uh, I'm learning the machine, and I'm getting my lines straighter, and I'm doing all that, and I figure these, everybody needs mag pouches, you know, um, so I'm going to bang out a few more of these before I start getting experimental and doing some other stuff, you know, so yeah, anyway, that's what I've been doing with this sewing machine.